Hey folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of the XCOM 2 Preview. We are currently doing a guerrilla ops, so we've got to go and hack a computer over here to prevent the advent bad guys from developing better armor for their troops, which would make life a lot harder for us. So we're sneaking up to this building. I would like... I would like a full cover position, which isn't going to happen with this character. Because I can't reach the other side. Nor can I do that. I could double move up to the roof with these guys. Okay. Vasquez over here can move up to here and peek through the window. Yeah, which seems like a good idea. We'll get full cover through the window. Haven't seen anyone. We don't have great vision in there, but we've got some. So it seems to be fine. So I think what I'm actually going to do is double move through here. Maybe not double move. Or maybe so, I don't know. It's, it's very risky. I can at least position myself against the window and then uh, move through it after. Tell you what, um... Yeah, let's do that. There doesn't seem to be any immediate threat, so it's probably safe to stand in half cover. And next turn we... Whoa, okay. Maybe Vasquez couldn't actually see through the window. Let me get back to you. Okay, we don't have our uh, lightning hands yet. We have a decent snipe, 47% chance. Well, it's not... Awful. 35% is definitely less than good. We want to take care of this guy before he goes and starts mind controlling our people. I'm tempted to go here and get a pistol shot off. I think that'll be a better angle with Jennifer. Since she's only got a 35% chance right now, let's move over here and see if we can pistol the alien with slightly better odds. I think it'll still count as having full cover. Oh no! It's actually flanked! 71% chance. Pistol only does 2 to 3 damage, but we've got a 40% chance to crit. Critted. Ew. We're only 3. That was weird. I wonder, with a crit, it doesn't just double your damage. It doubles your range? How does that work? Why do I go 2 to 3, and I'm going to crit? Does a crit just do 50% more damage as opposed to double damage? I suppose it's possible. Alright, so we've got the 47%. If we hit... We'll probably kill it. Not guaranteed, though. But I could move here and get a pistol flank. Which is, seems unlikely to kill it, but much more likely to at least hit and do some damage. So I guess we're going to do that. I'm going to move Catnip Addict over here. It'd be really nice if we had lightning hands. But we don't. Pistol. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think we could... I don't know. I don't know how the crit damage works, clearly. Let's see what happens. Non-crit. Alright. I mean, it's only 40% chance to crit, so that is fair. Okay. So we do have two people here. You actually... You really don't have line of sight. How do you not have line of sight inside the building from there? I'm very disappointed. Now, we could aid protocol someone, which is really tempting. It's a bonus to defense. Which I don't think will help people here, because these are only going to be psychic attacks. It could certainly help um, my character there, or I can run up to here and take a shot. It would be a shot against someone with full cover, though. Well, it's full cover right now. What if I just grenade him instead? Oh, this is a staircase. This is a staircase, so I can't actually blow up that full cover. Alright, you just take a straight-up shot, then. If you hit, you might kill him. I could have hunkered down as well for extra defense. Missed. Not even close. On reserves. And Vasquez really has nothing going for him. I think the thing to do for Vasquez is just to overwatch. I'm not convinced he's going to be able to get a shot. So, what's my odd to hits here? 30%. Really not great, and even if I hit him, I won't kill him. I could scooch up a little bit more and then try. I could go to here. Might get a slightly better angle. But I think it's going to be a great time for us to use the aid protocol. Yeah, right over here on Tadashi. He's the most vulnerable. He's in half cover and he's relatively close. I mean, our medic's only in half cover as well. I probably... Ooh. I should have probably moved out of the way first. Oh, I still have my movement. Excellent. Very few things in XCOM 2 seem to end your turn. Because there was a lot of stuff like that, I feel, in EU that would, it only takes one action, but it will end your turn if you use it. So I'm going to move to here, which means he won't get line of sight against me. If he comes after me, he'll probably trigger an overwatch. 
All right, I'm happy with that. All right, I expect some sort of panic or a mind control. Still, he's so close to death that we'll be able to kill him before this has huge problems. All right, a panic, that's, that's fine, that's fine. Overwatch triggered, excellent. And we missed, we did blow up the door though, that was very exciting. Are you gonna melee through the window? Ow! Oh, you missed, thank goodness. Half cover and the plus 20 defense. I think that actually really paid off our aid protocol here. Woohoo! Oh, what are you doing with your panicked? Are you gonna take a shot at least? Only did one point of damage. Oh, you missed! But you have the, the, he's got the rifle stock, so even on a miss, he does one point of damage. All right, it's not the end of the world. I think the aid protocol just ended and came back. It's okay, I think we've got it. Oh, he's got a more cover than expected. I think we'll probably go and flank him and do something, but let me go and start over here. We've got the lightning hands for the extra chance of damage. Most likely, I can just... Actually, what are the odds of just pistoling him? 61%. I mean, I could try a couple of pistols. I could move over here, get a better angle. I'd still get two shots. That seems like the safe thing to do. I'm going to move over here. Hopefully we don't expose ourselves to any more aliens. We take the free shot from the lightning hands. Okay. And I wanted to do it that way to guarantee things. It did reset my lightning hands okay, cooldown, so which isn't blood. great, but it's a thing. Panic removed. Good. Now, do I just want to overwatch here or do I want to move up? I actually think I'd be quite safe to move up like this. As far as I know, there's no one else around. It's a bit risky, but not that risky. Is it clear? Plus, this will help confirm that indeed there's no one else there, which means I will feel very comfortable in having my characters run in here and get and break this guy's flank. Yeah, I'm going to move in over here. Give me full cover move. against everyone else. And then we're going to minigun this guy at point blank range. Which, if it hits, should kill him. Whereas the assault rifle, there's a good chance that even if it had hit, might not have killed him. So this is a good start. Excellent. Happy about that. That's it. I'm out. Vasquez. I'll have to double move to be into cover, which I guess is fine. Let's do this. It's a little risky. We're in a bit of a time crunch. We have confirmation of the exposed access point. Excellent. And I think I'm just going to double move up to this doorway over here with my other sharpshooter. Through the doors. All right, looking good. I don't even know if there's any aliens left over. So, can I hack it from here? No, I can hack this thing. I suspect if I had line of sight, I'd be able to hack that. Let me scooch to here and see if that might work. Yep. Hack workstation. Boom. At range, nice and safe. Just send the gremlin in. Two more turns. I mean, we would have been able to walk over there anyway. But this is safer. We don't have to worry about walking into a trap. Boom. Ooh, all right. Yeah, this is really hard to do. Reduce the contact cost for nearby region 50%. I mean, that sounds nice. I like this, though. Recover mission lead on an alien facility? Sure. And it's more likely to happen. Most likely we'll just fail this, but at least we'll still unlock the network. Oh, we got it! Nice! Okay, un recover mission lead. Maybe that means we can do the other, um, the other, okay. what's it called? The, the dark event stuff? Acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Okay, there's still some hostiles. Yeah, I bet you we could see them from there through the window. So I like the fact that we did this safely. We're no longer on a time limit, though. Uh, you need to reload. Again, in XCOM 2, reloading does not end your turn. It always only took one action, but it used to end your turn. Back in. Excellent. Let's um, just scooch to here. It's not much of an advance, but it's something. Actually, probably want to check upstairs. I don't suppose there's um, a skylight, huh? No. This should be safe-ish. 
It's a bit risky. We're going to be mostly in full cover. There they are. Yeah, okay, that may have backfired. Nope, they decide to go down. Suits me just fine. Vasquez actually has line of sight. Uh, those are not particularly good odds. I think the thing to do will be to stay here, or actually maybe even better. Now that won't give me full cover, interesting. Alright, let's reload, and just overwatch. It's only half cover, but that's alright, I think. Meanwhile, Jennifer Webb... Someone's on this level over here. I won't be able to shoot them. I could scooch up a fair amount this time, and then next time pop over to this window and probably take a shot. But only a single shot with a pistol, which doesn't make me feel very comfortable. What I think I'm going to do is pull back over here. And we'll be ready for someone maybe trying to get around us. I'll go into pistol overwatch on this go. There we go. That hit. As he broke cover, and where is he going? I think I need some help. Did you hit me from over there? Not showing me the uh, the tooltip properly. I think this guy's gonna be able to take a shot at Vasquez. No, he only overwatched. Okay. What are your odds to hit here? 58%? I'll take it. If we hit, we'll kill him. Oh yeah, way overkilled. And you dropped something. Uh, we pre pretty much just have to kill something to get our drop. That is not great, although if we kill him, that's the end of the mission. So that's not bad. He's not overwatching or anything. Um, I think we can hit him from over here. Might be better to be under this cover, but I think we should have line of sight. If we end here, we should be able to take a shot. It does theoretically make us vulnerable to something that might pop around this way, though. So I'm going to do this. Because at least we'll have half cover from this angle. Oh, actually, I can't shoot him at all. Alright, just overwatch then. Captain Attic. No, there's nothing to shoot from over there. Do I just want to have you drop down? I guess you could go here and probably take a shot. Anyway, I'm going to have you stay on the roof. I'm going to have you scooch up a little bit, go into pistol overwatch. Just in case there's anyone else, we're going to want some extra backup there. Um, I think you should be able to shoot from there. You did take some damage, though. I might have wanted to actually play it safer. Yeah. You know what? I'm not going to risk you. I'm going to move you to here. I changed my mind. Hopefully these guys don't have grenades. I'll get Jennifer Webb to come in here and do a pistol shot. Tell you what, pistol overwatch. There we go. Bam. Yeah, as I say, even if you hit, there's a good chance we won't actually kill him. He might take a shot over here. Good thing for armor. Remove my overwatch? Interesting. could grenade him, which would be very safe. But it might also destroy something that he could drop. Is there any way for my team to actually... Well, as long as I'm willing to expose myself over here, I can get a lot of shots. Tell you what, I'm going to run up here with Jennifer Webb. If I fail to kill this guy with my pistol shot, I can always just grenade him so we can still get a kill. But at least this way, I'm giving us a chance to finish this guy off without explosives. Okay, she missed, but we can move someone else in here. Adjusting All right, Vincent can come to, say, here. I guess he could have taken a shot from there, apparently. I didn't realize that. Okay, only 30%, but we'll, you know, we'll try. One of these is bound to hit. And again, push comes to shove, we could have grenaded. We weren't taking a risk here. See, he dropped a corpse, and we may not have been able to recover the corpse if we just blew him up. Three soldiers wounded. That is brutal. 
Absolutely brutal. But we did get a little bit of loot. Hey, you're in front of the screen here, buddy. Enemies killed per turn, 0.89, new record. Well, there was a lot of stuff with those turrets. So yeah, I'm sure the turrets, I'm betting they could be hacked and things that was out of range. I probably could have approached them a little bit differently, but we were on a time crunch. I mean, we only hacked the thing with two turns left. Um, you know, we could have done it, but, hmm. Anyway, we should have countered a dark event. I don't know if it goes away completely or just gets delayed or what. We're going to find out. Gravely wounded, gravely wounded, gravely wounded. Not just a little wounded. Gravely wounded. Corporal Choi, our specialist. So you can get revival protocol. Send the gremlin to an ally to remove any negative mental status effects. Okay, that's pretty good. Or haywire, which allows us to hack robots. Hacking robots later on is going to be insanely good if you remember to use it. In fact, I bet you those turrets would have counted as robots. Um, so I probably couldn't just hack them. But now I will be able to, and I think there's a lot of value in this. Removing mental things is good, but I think hacking robots is going to be better. And Vasquez gets to be promoted. He becomes a ranger. Nice. Excellent. I like the rangers. Good. Okay. it's a lot of injuries. Oh, we got a lot of stuff. Increase. So 10% critical hit chance. Even further with that. And we got a couple of personal combat sims. These are brain chips you can insert into people's brains. This gives us 20 will, so you're going to be that much harder to mind control or panic. And this is plus one hit point, which is obviously amazing. And we got a facility lead, which we got from that hack. I'm curious as to what that is. And then all these artifacts, including the turret wrecks. Sound pretty good. Hello, Commander. Hi. Okay, we completed that, we got our scientist, and we countered the advent alloy padding. Thin on manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Yeah, we're pretty hurt. Low supplies as well. We don't have access to the black market, I think, so. Um, it's, it's just about the end of the month, though. We're about to get a bunch of stuff. Um, I think what we're going to want to do is go to the armory where we're going to want to recruit at least a spare person. Probably wouldn't be alive today if it weren't for your father. So, it was, uh, something of a miracle worker. Getting oh, the Avengers right. power back online was a miracle. I'm not entirely sure how he deciphered their system, but we'd still be half buried in the sand if he hadn't. He gave everything he had to get the ship running, but he didn't live long enough to see her fly. We owe you both a debt of gratitude. You can honor his All right. memory yeah, by yeah, yeah. the ship to destroy the aliens wherever we find them. Absolutely, we're going to kill aliens like crazy. All right, Min, G, Min Yi Li over here uh, is who we're going to recruit. That, did her look just change suddenly? I'm not sure. Maybe not. Uh, you're South Korean. You're at the top of the list, so I'm going to hire you. Um, and you're South Korean, so you've got to have, like, really good APM, right? Good. Do we get the recruit instantly? Oh, I think we did, actually. That is very nice. We don't have to wait for recruit delivery. Okay, good. Because that gets us back up to enough strength that we could run a five-person mission instantly. Obviously, it would be a lot better if we had some skilled soldiers. At least in four days, we're going to get another ranger as opposed to just some rookies. But that's all right. Okay, so we've expanded that. We are completely out of money, though. I guess what we're going to do is head to the bridge. How the... Oh, supply drop. Yeah, that would be nice. And we found the black market where we could sell things. I'm going to ignore it for a second. Check the dark events. Okay. So alien infiltrator is still on the board. It's still under preparation status. And I think it said we can only do one. In fact, that does seem to be the case. So we can go to the black site. Uh, we can't go to the black market. We have to search for it first. We'd have to go there and scan for four days. But presumably at that point, we'd start selling goods there and make some extra money. I think the thing to do will be to go to the supply drop over here. Did that number drop? Did it spawn at 140 and now it's going down? <gasps> Alright, well that would make sense. What does it say now? 92? What's it going to say when we get there? But we do need more supplies, so I think what we're going to do is process this. Plus we got to let our people heal up. Still says 92. And then we can make contact sure in East Asia. The results to be as intriguing as I do. Okay, what does this give us? I've often wondered how the aliens could conceive of such a being. Is there another world out there filled with these shape-shifting creatures? Or are they merely another construct of alien genetic tampering? 
I don't know, buddy. Uh, Mimic Beacon. I think this will draw people. Generates a holographic decoy to draw enemy attacks for one turn. Deploy the grenade thrown to the site where the decoy will appear. Very fun stuff, but I have a hard time not just bringing regular grenades, you know? So I think what we're going to do at this point... Okay, breaking down this stuff would all be very, very good. Probably give us access to more neat things. I'm going to start working on the resistance radio, though. I foresee a number valuable applications stemming from this technology. So do I. The report assembled as soon as the research is complete. You do that. Okay, so we're still clearing this. This will give us a little bit of supply as well, which is going to be helpful. We got that. Oh, this is empty. Right. We can't build our thing yet. Uh, oh, we have enough supplies, I think, to start on the proving grounds. We need 100 supplies. Experimental workspace where Shen can test and produce new unique types of ammo, grenades, and armor for our soldiers, as well as other specialized tactical items. It sounds really good. It's actually part of our quest. It's going to take two weeks, so we may as well start now. It is going to use the last of our power, so we'll have to build Moving more power stuff our soon. Power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Right. I'm planning on building a power thingy over here, so we were going to do that. Those are the exploits power coil down here, where I believe... Um, if you build a power conduit thingy or generator on one of these, you get even more power. But I think we're going to have to build one up here to start off with. Okay, let's go back to the bridge. I think we're still getting those supplies, yeah. Which now says 46 supplies. So, the longer you wait, because we, we, a whole day went by, the longer the wait, the more this goes down. So you really want to rush those supply drops. Now we know. Okay, alien debris cleared. Um, we can't do anything with it yet, so just carry on. I'm going to save my engineer. Ah, hold on. My engineer was here. What I can do, there we go, is assign him to there to drop it from 14 days to 7 days. Okay, good. Or I could have him dig out another spot, but I think this makes more sense. Finish the supply drops. Alright, ignore. We're not going to fly yet. To aid in your efforts, we have gathered additional resources and staff at Resistance Headquarters. Ooh. Your use. Veteran soldiers. Interesting. I mean, they, that might still just be rookies in a sense, but... Alright. What do we do next? We could go to one of the Black Site missions. We could look for the Black Market. We could go and recruit another scientist over here. I suspect this will actually end up being a combat mission at the same time, but I'm not sure. At the very least, we still have five days to scan for it. Let me see about getting another science. I do want to take care of this black mission, black site mission. Ah, oh, see, now I'm tempted. I could just kill it some time searching for the black market, use that to heal up my people, then go to the black site with more skilled people. I know, let, let's go and see the scientist. It might not be a combat mission, or it might be an easier one. We might be able to get through it without as many injuries, and then we can spend a little bit of time just looking for the black market. Let's see what happens. And we're about to get our supply drop. There we go. Yes, no? Oh, yes, you're a ranger. Excellent. Carry on. Is it possible that this income only comes from supply drops? Do you not get it regularly? Do you have to go and get the supply drop to get your money? <gasps> that, I think, is exactly how it works. I'm just realizing now. Oh, man. So I didn't get my income properly because I didn't go and ninja it instantly. Okay, we're going to have to keep that in mind. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Okay, radio relay is available. And get working on the turret breakdown. Again, there might be a cutscene here that I'll skip. Yeah, let me skip that just in case he gives some plot points away. I've started to wonder how the Advent administration views our current band of renegades. Do they see us as an actual threat or more of a nuisance? Probably not much of a threat yet. Okay, people are starting to get better. Let me finish this science spot. Commander. Based on my research in collaboration with Shen, I believe we can reduce the intel cost of contacting additional regions by building radio relay towers along our network. The further a region is from a relay, the more it will cost us in intel. So I would suggest building relays along the remote edges of our existing network. I believe the Resistance will be grateful for the construction of these relays. They may reward us in kind. Okay. Sounds good. Sweet. Okay. Free scientist. More of a research speed boost. Ooh, abandoned colony. Right, which gives us more rookies. Commander, we just got word that the resistance hit an advent supply line. 
We have an opportunity to salvage some high-value materials, assuming we can clear out the alien forces guarding the site first. We are absolutely going to do this right away. Uh, hang on. Or are we? Yeah, this, this might be a time-based thing. It's nice and yellow. It makes me think that it might be time-based. Yeah, let's go ahead. Operation Sinking Chant. Raid the Advent Train. Setting course for the Arctic Territories. Plus it's more supplies, which apparently we need. God, this game is keeping us really busy. And lots of interesting and hard decisions all the time. And I like being able to... I like seeing that. Uh, we are lacking a specialist here. Okay, Squatty, you survived your first mission. So we're going to replace your arm with that. If we bring another rookie, and we might want to do the thing where we bring one rookie every mission, especially if it's an easier... Well, this is moderate difficulty, actually. Okay, do we have a specialist available? No. Because wounded are already in the mission. Okay. I'm going to give you the body armor, though. And I am going to bring... I do want to bring one med kit with us. I think I'm going to do it with the sniper, because you're more likely to be behind and less likely to get hit than some of the others. It's going to be a little bit scary. Medium mission. We don't have that many good people. We have one rookie, and a lot of people, we're just, they're all squatty ranked, right? We don't have a colonel or a sergeant. This is not going to be the easiest thing in the world. Do we want to build more items? What would we build? Oh, we might be able to assign... Um, some weapon customization, which we haven't done yet. Yeah, and personal combat sims, right. Higher chance to hit with the sniper rifle. I, I think that's probably a fine choice. Or higher higher chance to crit, not hit. Uh, personal combat sims, I'm going to hold off. What I'm going to do is... I want the extra hit points on someone who's going to be running onto the front lines. Now you can change combat sims, but just like weapon upgrades, you can't uh, you can't get it back out. So you sort of commit. I think my other ranger I'm going to give the will upgrade to. Because again, they're more likely to be a little closer to the front and might get mind controlled. Actually, I'm not sure. Later on, if they do get the phantom upgrade, they're going to spend a little bit more of their time stealthied. Now, let's go ahead. I think the rangers are really going to be more frequently in the line of fire. So let's go ahead and give them a little extra willpower. Resist some mind control. That'll be fine. And no sergeants yet, so no other customizations to do. I'm going to launch the mission. What I'm going to do is I think I'm going to wrap up this episode here. And we'll start the next episode at the start of this mission. But let's see what the setup looks like anyway. You guys will have to sit through the load time. Sky Ranger, do We're in the pipe. Five by five. Five by five. We've got a lead on a disabled... 5x5 five five is another way to say loud and clear. ...resistance operatives working in this area. There's still the potential to recover valuable technology here. So we're moving to capture whatever we can. Neutralize enemy targets, secure supplies. It's possible the supplies will be on a self-destruct timer, so we this might be a time mission. And I'm hoping that we hit one that doesn't have a time mission at some point, because then we're more likely to get through without any real injuries. Because I'll, I'll have to take fewer risks. Now, any mission that's timed, it's all about calculated risk. How much do I want to risk moving forward? Because i got to get to the objective, but, you know, without suiciding, that would be nice. I mean, failing a mission would probably be better than losing, say, three people outright. Coordinates of the advent train are locked in. Move to secure. Eliminate all hostiles. Okay, we have started off concealed and with no timer, so I'm really looking forward to this mission hopefully being something that gets us lots of experience points, very little damage, and maybe we'll reward us with supplies. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.